Welcome everybody, I'm Lizzie Brooks and this is where Muscle Meets Mindful. Today I wanted to talk about starting yoga after 40. So, and that means any age after 40, but particularly I've been getting questions about starting after 40 and with everything that's going on, folks um, are at home and they might not have ever done yoga before and they're asking me like, is that okay? How do I start? How much should I do? All of this kind of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm 40, I started um, when I was, I guess, 18, something like that. But I have started a lot of other things after four, or excuse me, close to 40, like um, weight training and all of that kind of stuff. And so I do have some experience with that. And then with my knowledge of the body and psychology and all of that, I, I do have a lot to say about starting um, any movement practice, um, particularly yoga after 40 or at any age um, later on. So start. <laughs> that's, that's what I want to tell you, start. There are tons of different styles, tons of different types of yoga, ways of doing it. Um, so many different teachers that are going to teach it in a different way and some ways won't resonate with you and some ways will resonate with you. And it takes an experimental time to find what you need at that moment and know that what you need at one moment will shift over time. And so you just have to keep checking yourself and your relationship to the movement and see if that needs to change. I would rather you start with one minute of movement or one minute of breath work or one minute of, of anything that you're choosing to start later than not doing anything at all. And that might build. Um, you don't have to know it all. You will have times when you are confused or there are movements that don't work for your body. Um, and that is when you pause, you come out of a posture, you find your breath and then you reevaluate. And that might mean that you need to ask a teacher a question um, uh, or take a private lesson or something like that so you can get a little more information before you move forward. It really depends a lot on the type of yoga that you're doing. So, I mean, yoga that you could start immediately and really uh, have probably no problem with um, yoga nidra, restorative yoga, even um, some yin yoga, things like this. And it's not right for everybody, but those are less um, as far as effort in the body, physical effort. It might be emotional or mental effort. Um, I want to definitely say that. But um, for those that have a little bit more physicality, you need to be doing uh, yoga that offers modifications and um, especially if it's a more challenging style of yoga. Um, at any age, starting yoga can be awkward. All the, the poses can feel really, really awkward before they start to feel more normal in our bodies. I still have days when you know, some of the basic postures feel really weird, um, and that's okay. But I would rather you start slow and small and inch your way up then not start at all and look back. Uh, if you're 40 and you want to start, you could start. But what if 10 years from now you look back and say, oh, I should have started then. Every day that passes is a day that you could begin. And you have so much more potential than you're probably, than you might even know. I have students who are doing things in yoga they never thought they were going to be able to do, and a lot of those students started much later. So the body is very, very capable of change, and it is um, going to give you a sweeter change if you slowly move into it than if you just try to throw yourself into it and do everything. And I find that when people throw themselves into a really, really tough practice and they go too fast and go too hard, they burn out and they might even get injured and then they can't continue on. So um, slow and steady wins the race. Start and you will, and, and just let it be an experiment. Uh, try different things, try different teachers, try, uh, all the different types of yoga, try it on video, try it in person, try a private lesson, and then piece together exactly what it is that you uniquely need, um, and that will change day to day and month to month and year to year. But um, I do 
strongly urge you to start because you will be glad. <laughs> you will be glad. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. If you have any questions, go ahead and place them in the comments and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Have a, I already said have a beautiful day. Have an even more beautiful day. <laughs> Bye everybody.